In the last video, we used the ArduPilot software in the loop simulation in conjunction with Q Ground Control Ground Station to test a waypoint mission on our computer without having to go out and fly our drone in real life. But we realized that there were some significant limitations to this um, process. We really could not see uh, the 3D model of our drone, nor could we see really any features um, that were around our drone. So, in this tutorial, we will be installing a robotic simulator called Gazebo, uh, and that will allow us to um, model different environments, um, as well as add all the visual features, and animate different uh, obstacles, and integrate different sensors like sonar, cameras, um, and LiDAR, which is all uh, sensors and stuff that uh, robots these days all use. Um, so, first thing we're going to do, uh, like in the last one, is open up a terminal and we're going to go ahead and start following the follow along, which the link is in the, in the description as in the last one. So, first thing, control C, control shift V. And basically what this is doing is um, it's going to allow our computer to accept um, packages from this um, from this website which is the gazebo website and then we're going to get the keys uh, as followed control shift v boom and then we're going to reload our um, software list with sudo apt update and it should go ahead and uh, ping all of those perfect so now that we got the update we can go ahead and install the gazebo simulator by running sudo apt install gazebo 9 lib gazebo dev hit yes and I'm going to go ahead and skip in the video right here and we'll be back to install the plugin perfect now gazebo is installed but gazebo uh, it's just a robotic simulator. Um, it's not exactly related just to ArtyPilot. So what the ArtyPilot devs have done is they've made a plugin so that you can interface um, uh, models of drones to the ArtyPilot software and you can test all the software in the loop with the Gazebo simulator, right? So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to clone the plugin from one of the ArtyPilot devs GitHub uh, following these instructions. So we're going to make sure that we're in our home directory by doing cd tilde, I'm in my home directory, and then we're going to clone uh, this repository from one of the ArtyPilot devs. Then we're going to uh, change directories into the, the ArtyPilot gazebo uh, plugin. Gazebo. And then we're going to do git checkout Dev. Now we're on the dev branch and then we're going to go ahead and make a build directory by doing mkdir build. Then we'll cd into the build directory and we will run cmake dot dot which basically uh, finds the cmake file and does all the configuring for uh, the make file and then uh, we'll run make J4. Basically, if you don't really understand all that, that's fine. It's really just building the ArtyPilot plugin, and that's all you really know. I'm going to go ahead and skip forward in the video just because it's going to take a little while to build. Alright, perfect. So now that that's built, we're just going to run one more command, and that's uh, sudo make install. Perfect. Now that the plugin is installed, we're going to go ahead and add a couple lines to the bash RC. That way, Gazebo can find everything that it needs to uh, run properly. So, Control C, Control Shift V. Then, we're going to go ahead and add another line to the bash RC, and this will allow Gazebo to find the models that we just uh, added uh, via the plugin. And then, we're going to go ahead and reload the bash RC. That way, all the global variables get reset and everything can run properly. So now that we've done that, we can go ahead and run the simulator with Gazebo. So the first thing is, we're going to run uh, Gazebo by running this command. 
Control Shift V. And it'll probably take a second just because it's our first run. Alright, so now we have Gazebo with this model of our drone. Um, so now we want to go ahead and run the software in the loop simulation by uh, running this command in a second terminal. So Control C, then pull up our terminal again, but we're going to need a second terminal, so we'll tile them by doing Control Shift T. And then Control Shift V to paste, and run that. And now uh, we can see that our software in the loop simulation is connecting to Gazebo. What I like to do um, is to put our con lock our console to the top. That way I can move around without having this go away. So I always do always on top. And then I take this one and I put always on top as well. So finally, uh, I'm just going to show you guys how uh, we can take off um, our drone and like see it visually uh, and everything um, using the basic uh, ground control station that comes with RD Pilot called Map Proxy. So, like I said in one of the previous uh, videos, this is a very stripped down uh, ground control station like Q Ground Control, but it's stripped down, right? Um, so you'll have to type commands, um, and it's really useful for dev, right? So. First thing we're going to do is change it to mode guided. Then, while I was talking, all of the stuff loaded. But one thing you need to notice is that before you can take off in mode guided, um, you need to be the IMU zero needs to be using zero, or these two commands, or these two uh, lines need, really need to show up. Otherwise, uh, you will not be able to take off, and you'll get uh, an EKF error. So now that we're mode guided, we're going to go ahead and arm the throttle by typing typing arm throttle. Then we'll go ahead and quickly type take off and then two. So take off two and basically just takes off the drone to two meters. One thing to note here is that uh, you'll need to type arm throttle and then quickly type uh, take off two um, otherwise the drone will disarm itself because it hasn't received a command in a couple seconds. And then you'll have to do the process over again. But basically, uh, now we've got this uh, cool um, robotic simulator with a drone uh, that we can do robotics dev. Um, and we have it flying around. And uh, you can start to see how this simulator will become very useful as we can add uh, different models. And it's really uh, a nice 3D environment that's kind of similar to real life. So in the next video, uh, we're going to be adding on to this and making the drone do more interesting things. See you in the next one.